Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Will the Collector back here with another video review. Before I do that, um, I'm going to enjoy a nice sip of coffee because we here at the uh, Will the Collector channel, we love our coffee. And uh, we like it all day long as much as we can. Got to sneak some water in there every once in a while. Ah, I felt a little parched. Because what I've got for you today, folks, is always something special. But I was walking through my Target the other day with a good buddy of mine and happened to see this first, grab it first, and he's kicking himself for not grabbing it first. But it is none other than the Ecto-1 from the Plasma series. A 1 18th inch uh, scale, or 1 18th scale, I'm sorry, 1 18th scale uh, recreation of the Ecto-1 by Hasbro, boys and girls. And I know what you're thinking. The Plasma series. There's what gave us the... What are these guys? Like six inches tall? Where's my tape measure? Um, I, re I bought these before I started doing reviews. Yep, they are just shy of six inches. And not if you count the top of the core, but I count the top of the head. Uh, at least um, uh, Pete Venkman is. If I fail to do so, I'll measure the other guys later. But here is the Ecto-1 from the Plasma series. Uh, retailed for about $50. Got a Ghostbusters logo there right on the top. I was gonna slide this around to hopefully not knock over my characters in the background. You get a nice minimalist view of the Ecto-1, the front and the back, just like you kind of did on the side of the Plasma series characters. And there's the back. You get a full shot of the Ecto-1 looking like it's had Seen better days. Um, I guess some new... Uh, you get a blaster seat. You get uh, movable parts. I'm assuming the steering wheel moves. Uh, deployable RTV. I guess that's a deployable trap. And a little bit of a bio here. Ecto-1. Looks like the Ecto... Classic Ecto-1 got a few upgrades. With new features ready to take on bigger, badder ghosts. The ghouls will be running scared. That's it! We get like... Two sentences, but you also get that in various other languages. Don't ask me. I'm not an interpreter, and uh, I'd have to turn on this video to get my translation app out. And then to go to the bottom here, as I flip this around, you get some more. includes vehicle and accessory there in English and French and whatever. Uh, some other information right here. Made in Vietnam. And, oh my lord, this is an official... Officially licensed General Motors product. And I guess there's an app? I don't know. I'll have to see. And You know me about downloading apps for my toys. You know. I guess that beats putting electronics down, I guess. Gives you more reason to use up your data. Hmm. Conspiracy theories abound. Uh, you know, because uh, this is the first foyer with this thing, I have no idea what's what's inside here. So I'm just going to take this off camera and kind of slice her open real quick. It's kind of, I was very excited to get this, but equally bummed as well because I don't think it's going to be to scale uh, to uh, the gentleman I have here. Oh my. Is that an instruction manual? Or a warning manual? Let's see, when you pull it out, you get this. Nice tray. This will be my first uh, figure-sized Ecto-1. Um, I never owned the real Ghostbusters Ecto. Where's my slippers there? Right now. I've never owned the full-size, or the uh, real Ghostbusters Ecto, because I only owned one real Ghostbusters figure when I was a kid, and that was a Pete Vagman. Let's see. Oh, this thing's just going to pop right out. Let's try to... Let's see. Where is it still connected up front there? There we go. Let's set that down. Oh, that's nice. Right out of the box. As much as I... I'm just... Slightly disappointed for the fact that this is not... My Ghostbusters that I purchased are not going to fit in this thing. Because you can tell that already. 
From what I understand, this is going to be for the uh, three and three quarter uh, wave of figures that is going to come for Ghostbusters Afterlife, which obviously got pushed back due to the current pandemic. Wow, this doesn't even. Let's see, where's the instructions? I don't see an instruction manual. Well, that's not good. Well, yeah, there's nothing. There's just this little sheet. It's different. It doesn't it doesn't open up there, so we're kind of left to our own here, folks. Well, you know what? Here on the Collector Channel, we uh, we we do what we can. We overcome the odds as long as there's something kind of in our favor. So you got the obviously the top section here. And we've got some other little things. There's that rover trap. In the bag. So you get the car itself. You get the top piece, which I know is gonna snap on top there. You get various other wire pieces, one two, three, which you can kind of tell based on these holes where they're going to go. And hoses. The pieces. The ladder. I know the ladder. I can almost tell you I know where the ladder's going to go. I know this top radar dish looking thingy. And that's kind of it. I'm going to pause this video, and I'm going to get a special guest to join us. Hold on, folks. And we're back, folks. I just had to sneak around and grab off my shelf my Ectotron to kind of <laughs> kind of stand here. At least I had the had the boys, so I figured I'd get Ectotron. So let me just look at the. So let me look at the box here to kind of see how this stuff's going to go. Which, kind of pulling this off to the side. There we go. Like that's going to go right there and kind of fit in snugly. That's pretty snug. And let's see. Now that's going to go in the back. So we're going to set that off to the side. Uh, one of these antennas. Maybe uh, let me see if these are keyed right. One goes up like that. Oh wait, is there still? Oh, I still got rubber bands on this thing. Probably holding everything on together. Well, if you needed one big rubber band for these things, even though these aren't the greatest. Let's see if that kind of. Goes up there, snaps in nice. And I got this on the day that I gave my first run of Mattel Ghostbusters to my buddy Kenny. So, Kenny, if you're watching this, even though I doubt you will, uh, this shout-out's to you. Because um, he's a huge Ghostbusters fan. And I had to kind of rub this in his face a little bit. But Kenny, Kenny... Uh, He's not gonna. He doesn't. He's not gonna spend fifty dollars on a on an Ecto one unless it's you know probably got all the cool bells and whistles. He's not a collector as as much as I am. So, uh, but I know my extras will be have a happy home with him. So let's. So let me make sure this is the ladder's going on there. Well, there goes on pretty good. It's pretty self-explanatory. Is that probably of course you can kind of tell there's a groove right there that the top of the ladder goes into. There's this groove, and then there's that groove. As you can see, so, but you kind of, 
get it underneath the antenna right there. Get it lined up. And you're good to go there. Now, for these other pieces. As I look, I'm trying to figure out where the other wire is going to go. I'm not quite seeing where it's going to go. So I know this piece will go on top of here. It kind of sits down in there. doesn't really snap into place. I'd prefer a nice snap. And then this, uh, as you can see, that little piece is lined up to set into there. Which I probably uh, transformed my Electrotron back. Um, it would definitely show you. Now I saw this this little tab right here, which tells me, hey, boom, that goes there. And then let's see. That kind of snugs in there, and then that will go up there. Boom! Done. And I gotta say, oh, wow, I love it. I mean, I'm happy, yet I'm disappointed for the fact that there's no way they're squeezing in there. And, you know, a buddy of mine was like, hey, uh, you know, maybe it's kind of like the the Razor Crest. The Razor Crest is going to be in three and three quarter. You know, will your Mandalorian look good in front of it? Sure. At a distance. You know, I mean, that's clear as crystal. They're not fitting in there. So I'm going to move him off the side. Sorry, Pete. You're not going to be rolling around the city tonight. But real quickly looking at the uh the other accessory it does come with is a you know for you Transformers fans maybe a little roller concept uh ghost trap. I guess this will be explained in the the movie whenever that comes out. I hope man I hope we're able to get back into theaters. I love going to movies. I love just a big bowl of popcorn and a soda. And just watching stuff on a big screen. And a nice sound system just, you know, blowing your eardrums out. It kind of rolls good. It, the, the, the wheels stick a little bit. The wheels stick a little bit. But to take a look at this, um, there's no electronics. Not to say that somebody with a um, model kit can't figure out how to put lights in this thing. There we go. Front door opens. The wheel does not turn. These wheels do not turn. They roll pretty freely, though. I mean, I should have known for 50 bucks, this definitely was not going to be... I, I don't know. I had hopes maybe it was, you know, less painted. You know, you get the, the Ecto-1 license plate. The grill could... They could use some, some popping... You know, you could probably do that with some paint markers or something like that. Do some, some little bit of detailing, bring that out. I might, I might, you know, take a chance to do some of that. That door opens up. You better to look in the. The lighting's not that great. I don't know, flashlight up here. You know, got so yeah. You can see a radio. You can probably see where they have like a radar. See the old uh, emblems up in there on the glove box. Let's see, does this... So this side door swings open, and I think we saw this in the trailer to where this thing slides out. And that slides out nice, and I guess it's where the kids are, you know... I guess one of the girls might be in a wheelchair, and uh, she's able to... Swing out there. Wasn't that like, wasn't that a character from Ghostbusters Extreme, was it? But as you're looking through there, as I can see, God, I wish I had, um, I wish I had brought up a flashlight so we could at least see inside that interior there. Of course, I can see through it, and then once, this, you know, my camera gets up there, let me see, let me lift this up a little bit. A bit of light in there. Uh, let's see. As you can see, like a little bit of rust there on the floorboard and stuff like that. That's cool. I like that. You know. 
I mean, it, it, it detail's not all over the place, but, you know, door swings open. That's pretty cool. I don't think... Let me check this other side. I don't think that one's going to swing open. Nope. It's not looking like it. And... Let's see. The back opens up. Very nice. And again, just, you know, you get some... Uh, equipment back there. How like grown men would have been able to get back there? I don't know. And just mess with that is, is beyond me. Cause there's just maybe if all this stuff was supposed to slide out and it looks like this little, this little character is just gonna, it's just gonna fit right on there. Maybe. And then that will, that door will close up and slide right back in. I like how that works. That's that's pretty neat. I like how it just kind of pulls out and kind of folds out a little bit. So that's pretty cool. Again, um, a little disappointed for the fact that you know this does not cater to a seven-inch Ghostbusters figure, but it does to a three and three-quarter. And actually, you know what? I'll be right back. I went and grabbed one of my 25th anniversary. This is probably an Arctic or desert Cobra troopers. I'm sorry, Cobra officers. And let's see if he's going to fit in here. Because just, oh, wow. Be nice if the steering wheel moved or you could pop it off because there's there's no way unless those kids have like flat as can be thighs, they're not getting in there. So no one's gonna be driving this thing. There's your drawback uh drawback there, Hasbro. Let's see if he'll this guy's not exactly sitting flat either. Ugh. Hey, do I have anybody that's going to be able to sit flat in this thing? Maybe some Mega Bloks figures. <laughs> yeah. As painful as that laugh was. So, we found a couple little hiccups in this thing. Let's see. Yeah, maybe they're going to be smaller than three and three quarter. You know, God, Lord, imagine if they're going to be like those dang. Uh, were they less than three and three quarter or were they four inch? The Spider-Man movie figures I didn't buy. Oh, no, that's a lot. I bought a couple and then they bought the then they finally brought them out in six inch and I quickly replaced those because there was no way I was keeping those in the collection. So this 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 is going to be a little rough. Even for three and three quarter. Um, but let me see if one of these guys. These Imagine X. Not Imagine X. Um, what are these guys? The Playmobil. Playmobil figures. Eh, a little bulky with that backpack on. Let me see. Oh crap, was it was I able to get that thing off? Let's see if I can pop his head off. Not without breaking it. There we go, I got it. Yeah, Playmobil. You kind of sit in there. But they already did a Playmobil Ecto 1. So I don't I don't I don't get this. You know. Again, they design something, you know, maybe this, you know, because they're all underage, but I think I see that like one of the main stars, that kid that's from the, uh, 
Um, from it and Stranger Things, uh, I see him in it, and he looks to be in the driver's seat. By the time this movie comes out, that kid's going to probably be like 25 years old anyways. So, I don't know. I don't know what their plan is for having a driver in there. But that, my friends, has been the Plasma Series Ecto-1 by Hasbro. You know, I like it. But I, again, I'm a sucker for uh, uh, an Ecto-1. I have it in Lego. I've got it in Transformer. I've got it in Hot Wheels. Do I have it in Jada? I don't think I have the Jada Toys one because, yeah, for scale. I mean, just for space reasons and stuff like that. I mean, I got it for, um, I have a Hot Wheels, you know. Um, but again, I, you know, I would I, I got this mainly to hopefully have these guys in it. And that's just not going to be possible uh, by any stretch of the imagination. They're probably not even going to fit in there sideways just going across the front. Hopefully the uh, the figures, um, they can make some uh, smaller figures in order for that to pick in there. Kind of like they did with like the A-Team a couple years back. Uh, even though, oh God, those are horrible. The van looks great. The figures were horrible. I'm sorry, I'm not even going to lie. Uh, but anyways, I have been Will the Collector. Um, if you like this video, hit a like button on it. Uh, please share, please subscribe, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.